Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got some tips for how to take our Tinkercad jack o' lanterns and make them 3D printable. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So if you haven't seen this tutorial, I'll make sure there is a link up above. It's available for an iPad. It's also available for working on PCs. Also, a quick note, when I design these tutorials, most times I'm designing them just so that you have fun. I'm not designing with 3D printing in mind. I like to have kids make a ton of awesome projects in my class just for fun and then finally move on to 3D printing. So friends, the first step is I'm going to ungroup my pumpkin. So there's the face part. The second thing I'm going to do is ungroup the pumpkin piece. Now I'm going to move this way so I can see the face pretty easily and I'm just going to hide those pieces so that way we can see the inside of our pumpkin. I'm going to hide this little piece as well. Friends, you can see that's going to be a thin layer. So all we're going to do, set our nudge to 0.1 and we're going to do Alt Shift. And instead of 46, I'm going to take it down to say 43. So if I do Alt Shift, you can see that it starts to shrink. If I type 43 and press Enter, it will have scaled around the middle. Now when we do show all, I'm going to do T for transparent. You can see how much thicker that wall is going to be. That's going to give you a much better shot of having it print successfully. I also want the bottom of the pumpkin to be flat so that way I don't need supports. So I am just going to bring out this piece right here. I'm going to tell the height to be two millimeters. I'm just going to subtract that D to drop to get it on the bottom. I'm going to make it larger than my pumpkin. And then I can group this all at once because I have built it smart. I think I'm actually going to make this three. I think that'll be even more awesome. D to drop. And then friends, are you ready? If we take all these pieces and I'm going to leave the green piece separate and group all eight. It takes a moment to finish. I'm going to shut off the transparency. But bam, now your pumpkin is thicker and ready for 3D printing. I'm going to grab it all and do D to drop, so that way it's on the bottom. Hopefully you can see how that is going to be a lot more handy, but we still have the issue of the teeth. Now you could add supports for these teeth with your slicer, but check out what I like to do. I'm going to bring out a cylinder, I'm going to hold down shift and squish a corner, and I'm going to tell you to make it 2 millimeters thick. I use this size all the time, it works pretty darn sweet. I'm going to bring it over to the spot and I'm going to just do control up to raise it up. And then I'm going to use a small knife. And then when the print is finished, it's super simple to just snip them off. Let's use F to fit view, get that aligned. Remember, I'm using that point one. I'm going to pull it forward. I'll do control up so it's out to that edge. I do want to make sure it's connected. And I think that should work. So he has a little bit of an overbite because of the shape of the pumpkin. So I'm gonna just rotate it a few degrees. I can still nudge it out. And I think that's gonna work pretty darn dandy. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other tooth. I'm gonna do Control D, Shift Nudge to move it across. Let's do F to fit view and make sure it looks the way we want. I can make that a little bit shorter. Nudge it out just a couple clicks. Now the rest of these eyes, they all move upwards so I don't see any problems. I think this is going to be fantastic. I am going to make mine a tiny bit smaller. If I'm doing this in a classroom, I'm always trying to print it nice and quick so the printer's ready for the next child. So if I just do shift shrink, so I'm down to about four centimeters and it's ready to send to the 3D printer. So there you are, simple steps to mod your pumpkin so it's more likely to be 3D printable. Friends, I'm going to go send this to the printer right now. Make sure you stay tuned so you can find it as a YouTube short. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.